I remember I was able to drive a motion for the increment of ECDs uh, teacher salaries by 40%. That happened towards the end of uh, His Excellency Waititu's term. So for us, we were guided by the law. And to make it all, we had the goodwill within our, ourselves and the governor then. And we had to look at the well-being of the populace in Kiambu. So to, to, to cut this short, we acted within the lines of the constitution and the law. Thank you. Now, oh, that's interesting. Um... There were major scandals uh, involving uh, the use of finances, uh, counting uh, finances, resources. Uh, eventually, the county government was actually uh, suspended. Uh, and you want to say, and you are part of that government, and you said in your opening statement that you are collectively responsible to the governor. And you want to say that you just uh, acted without taking note of all these things? And they didn't affect you at all? Sir, so you realize that uh, a CECM, yes, is directly answerable to the governor, and they function correctly as CECMs. But you realize that uh, the county assembly has an oversight role. And so you have to function between the appointing authority, who is a governor, who has a real way to engage in those political uh, issues. But you are answerable to a county government where the MCAs have to call you occasionally. And you'll be surprised how the county government um, members of the county assembly function. During all this time, they were still playing their oversight role. They were calling us all the time. And so we had to function within the law, rest we also get into the murky waters. Yes, it's those murky waters. Those murky waters involved expenditure, uh, misappropriation of county government finances. Uh, you are part of the county government, working as collectively as a cabinet of the county. There are major issues to do with misappropriation of funds reported by the Auditor General. Uh, as a CCM of the county, as a member of the county government, what did you do? Uh, Mr. Choka, we, we, we could see that coming, and where it was clear that uh, some of the units within the county were not sometimes uh, following the rule of law. And you know, collectively within the CCM meetings, you highlight that such issues. And you limit yourself to your department. So there was no scandal in the education department. There were no chaos in my sector. And much of what we hear in the public was not directly uh, a function of the then appointing authority, but uh, those whose powers, whose his powers were delegated to especially the, the, the chief officers. 